Hey guys, this is Dinosaur Drawer, and I believe this is part 3 of how to draw the Jurassic Park Dilophosaurus. And of course, with the throat. So, what I'm noticing right now is that he has this pattern going all the way from his head to the tail. So, what I'm going to do right now is draw in uh, the pattern with an HP pencil again and then later on go over it with uh, with the pen it looks really strange because it kind of goes like this and then it goes like this And it kind of goes like this almost all the way to until we are at his tail yeah I'm, I'm just darkening uh, this part in a little um, because it's going over uh, the ribs that I just drew and um, it's going to be hard to see when I'm not uh, applying too much pressure to my pencil right now so it needs to be visible but don't go too dark Jin, sorry that's my dog My dog seems, seems to be making quite a lot of noise today. Normally he does uh, make a lot of noise, but not like today. Today it was really a lot of noise. Alright, so this actually goes like this. Because he, he does have kind of like a pattern also going on on his leg. Which goes like this. And here it gets a little smaller and stuff and more complicated. We also have a, a few has a few spots here and there. Like over here he has a spot. <clears throat> And then this just goes on again. And it gets a little bit more uh, messy around here as well. Also, again, there seems to be quite a lot of uh, <clears throat> a lot of white stripes uh, between the the darkened points and these stripes. I'm trying. I'm gonna try to do my best to put those in, but if it doesn't look good, then. I am kind of forced to go back to uh, just going over it. So it goes kind of like this. And the air uh, is also a spot over here. And there's supposed to be something over here, but we can't draw, it, draw that in right now. So what I'm going to do is just darken this in a little bit already. So 
unless my pen doesn't work. All right. But try to make sure to go uh, with the same kind of line pattern throughout the whole drawing. Well, I, d I don't mean throughout uh, throughout the whole drawing, but I, d I mean like uh, on this part, uh, the pattern goes like this, and this part goes like that. And it actually seems to be darker at the sides, the outside, than it is at the middle. And I'll try to put it in with a little bit more care this time, because this one is a little bit too uh, messy. This looks a whole lot better already. And I'm gonna try to do the same thing over here. Just make it very, very dark, but not too dark yet. But try to make everything, uh, try to stay at the same tone with uh, the dark parts. Sometimes my pen doesn't seem to work very well like right here. Not sure why uh, it keeps doing that, but my um, guess it is that when you go over pencil lines, uh, the graphite gets stuck between the, the ball and the pen. And um, then the ball won't really uh, let ink go out anymore. And then when it gets unstuck, it releases a lot of ink and that's why I get like these ink droplets on my drawing sometimes. So I don't know if anyone else has this problem. Please let me know in the comments below if you have the same problem with your uh, pens. Because I don't really know what to do about it right now. I really just don't know. So if you guys have the same problem or had the same problem and know a solution, please let me know in the comments below. So yeah, again, uh, try to, hold, to keep the same tone into the dark parts. Here you see, it just doesn't work anymore right now, so I have to draw a little bit on another piece of paper, scribble something and then somehow it seems to work again. But 
and now it's really really annoying I'm just about to use the other pen again to get the other pen because the other pen didn't have this problem it does drop a lot of ink sometimes but it doesn't really have this problem that uh, it doesn't even want to uh, draw anything Try not to make too long strokes for your lines because otherwise it will look a little bit too light and then you have to go over it and it will make everything look, um, it won't look as clean anymore. And don't make make these ribs too dark. Just just going over it slightly. And the reason why I'm doing these lines instead of just scribbling it in is that uh, this will give it kind of the illusion of detail, like what I talk about in a lot of my videos. It looks like you put a lot of detail in it. Well, you actually just use um, a certain technique to make it look like there's a lot of detail. <laughs> Alright, and over here it stops. Yeah, I'm just going to use my other uh, pen because this is really beginning to uh, get a little bit annoying. This pen is a little bit uh, less accurate than the other pen. No, I can't use this pen for this. This pen is a lot better, but I just don't want to, doesn't want to work with me. Maybe just, and it's not, uh, the ink do didn't run out or anything, it's just that it doesn't want to draw, it doesn't want to work with me anymore, not sure why, again. I think there's just graphite stuck between the the pen and the ball. Let's see if it wants to draw over here. It doesn't want to do anything. But when I go on another piece of paper, it does. All right. That's better. Alright, I guess we have to use the other one. <laughs> Just have to be more careful. And straight away it dropped ink on my drawing. But it doesn't seem like I can use the other one anymore, so... I don't know, because when I... I don't know what it is. When I do this, it works, but when I do this, it doesn't want to work. 
really strange. Really, really strange. Might be because of the pencil lines, but some places that I'm, where I'm trying to draw it in, there don't, there also doesn't even, uh, I, I didn't even put any pencil lines at those places. So really strange. It's really starting to come together really, really well. But I'm really scared to put down too much pressure on this pen because I don't want any more ink droplets on my drawing. Alright, that seems to look quite good. And of course this part needs to be darkened. And now we can start trying to get some detail into it. And again, I'm just going buy it with a pencil to make kind of an indication to where um, where I can't go So I'm just going to begin with that and uh, try to get some detail into it. So right now it should actually work. Alright, it works. That's a relief, really. At least it wants to work with me a little bit. So I'm putting a little bit shadow beneath the ribs, making the ribs a little bit darker as well. Just make for a little bit of uh, of greater detail and stuff. And then my pen just does it again. All right. Darkening this a little. little bit of shadow beneath it and 
uh, putting those kind of curved lines in it, curving down, and this makes for a little bit of uh, scale texturing. And once you want uh, one part to be a little bit darker, you just put in a little bit more of those skills. Just go over it with uh, more of those curved lines. Curved, uh, yeah, they are just some hull circles. Could be a little bit more over here as well. And he does have some dark patches over here, but I'm not just going I'm not going to draw those in yet. Well I don't even think that I'm going to draw them in at all. So now we want to create like this muscle over here and muscle over here as well. And just do the same thing. Put in those hull circles. And try and uh, Get a little bit of detail going. Alright, should be a little bit of shadow in, uh, right here, and also a little bit over here. It's really annoying that the pen sometimes doesn't work. I thought I uh, solved the problem of my pen dropping ink droplets. And then this happened. Quite strange. I don't want to go into the detail of the of the hands too much yet. There's supposed to be a little bit more shadow over here, so Let's draw a little bit more shadow over there. And now this part. What I want to do here is just make some lines going this direction and then just do the same thing but then those lines are going the opposite direction and then just get these kind of scales in again Mm 
This is supposed to be a little darker right here. Um, so yeah, just this is just more stuff of the same thing. So I'm gonna skip to the part to where I have done this part. All right, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back and I did this part. Now I want to show you guys how I draw in a little bit more shadow and texturing and stuff into this part. Because over here I want that to be a little bit more. I want this to be a little bit more darkened. Something like that. I, I don't think I want it to be any darker than this. Alright. So now, let's go to the other hand. And this is just uh, really going to be a really dark hand, dark arm, in comparison with this one. It's just going to be as dark as this. At least on this part of it. And over here it gets a little bit lighter. Just a very tiny little bit. Alright, let's just get into the detail of his hand. Claw right there. Claw right there. And one right there. Put those little skills in. Like we have an old Jurassic Park dinosaurs, and over here we don't have. Well, we could draw in some claws, and then just draw some lines into it. Don't pay too much attention to that claw because it's not going to be very, uh, very visible. So now what I'm gonna do is. Draw a line with a pencil again around this whole section and I'm gonna skip to the part where I'd, I've done that. Okay, I'm back and now we're gonna um, draw in from here on just the same kind of skills that we did everywhere. And we're just going to uh, do it all the way along his tail and later on put some uh, shadow and with some detail and stuff so I'm gonna skip to the part to where I did this piece of the tail because I feel like I showed you guys enough of how to do um, these little kind of scales over here already and it would just be um, boring to see me draw in all those little things so I'll be back Alright guys, I'm back. And now what we need is a little bit of shadow on his leg. And actually a little bit of texture on both of his legs and then we're about done. So this needs to be protected as well. And then just Put a line over here, one muscle, a line over here, oh my god, the pen isn't working at all with me, 
one line over here and one over here. Then we're just doing the casual knee again. Not too much into that. And it might be that somehow my camera stops recording again because I don't want to make another part because as you can see we're almost done. So it would just be a part that will be like two minutes or something like that and I don't want to do that. So I might have to skip through some parts and show you the details only show you the uh, most important uh, things and then we might actually make it alright so as you can see what I did here is draw the simple lines for uh, the leg muscles and I'm just putting these kind of skills in them and around those lines skills need to be a little darker than normal but not too much it's really hard to actually draw in these kind of scales uh, alongside these stripes that we don't we, we can't go over to get actually the, the right shadow amount and stuff it's really hard yeah so I think there's going to be one more part and that one more part is going to be very, uh, very short. So I'm apologizing for something like that in advance because right now it's just a race against the clock and I don't think uh, I'm going to be on time for that. Because I'm just trying to get this right. I want it the look I want it to look just as realistic as the rest of the drawing. And it's kind of hard to get it right.